All right, everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. Let's take a look at the indexes here and see what is cooking. So from a weekly perspective, of course, we had a weekly squeeze, typically these last eight to 10 bars, and we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's certainly extended in this run. We've gone from about 295 um, up to 300, and you know we've tested that almost 375 level, give or almost. So we're at a point where, yes, we certainly could keep going, but I've been watching this to see, you know, we lost momentum here, and it changed the next week, so um, you, you kind of need two bars in a row to kind of consider that the weekly squeeze is over. Uh, in the meantime, we're, ex you know, on the daily chart, it's very rare when you get to 3 ATR. We got to 3 ATR here, we're able to pull back to almost plus 1 ATR, we got to 3 ATR again, and we did pull back to plus 1 ATR. My question is, are we going to get a reversion to the mean? Because the best times to buy are in reversions to the mean into the zone, and then you get a ready buy signal. Those are the best times. That's the safest time to buy. If you see where we are right now, man, gosh, we're just like, we got, we got sell signals all over the place. And so typically on something like that, what I'm looking for is a reversion to what? The mean, and then for this to kind of come down and we get another buy signal and then we're off to the races. Uh, but this, um, this market, this market continues to, re, you know, continues to remain overbought on the back of the large stocks. Now, this reversion to the mean, you know, we started to get, a, we got a sell off here. You know, we got a lower, uh, a lower low here. We got a lower low here. Typically you're going to see these three day pullbacks and then um, when this reversion to the mean, and it, we didn't get the reversion to the mean today, obviously, but what we'd look for here is that, okay, well, when is the path to the reversion of the mean done for now? And that would be a close above the previous day's high, or previous day's, uh, yeah, high. We did not get that today, or maybe it, maybe it tied, so, you know, technically. But tomorrow, if we do, you know, end up starting strong and we close above this, then for all practical purposes, this is off the table for now, and we'll likely get a retest of the highs. If for some reason tomorrow, you know, we start off strong and then we fizzle, and then we come back below this level, then all, you know, this is the target. Okay, and so that's what we got. And remember, and this is a market too where, yep, it's definitely very bullish. Um, especially, especially the big stocks, and I was trying to find eh, put call. There we go. And then just remember too, we've got the put call ratio way down here, which is uh, very bearish, and it's very and uh, it's very bearish, simply because this is where everybody's loading up on calls. You know, and everybody loads up on calls. It's kind of like the market doesn't have much, you know, anywhere to go, but you know, kind of down, so to speak, right there you know, right there. And so here we are. And so that's another thing too, where it's just the best time to buy is when everybody's scared and loading up on puts. 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 So that's where we are right now. And a little bit of a cautionary tale. And in a perfect world, we'd get a pullback to the mean. You know, this would get back up here. Everybody would be scared. And that's the time when you back up the truck and get long. In the meantime, a little bit shorter term. Um, you know, it's been a great market for day trading. The strong stocks, the NVIDIAs, the Microsofts, the Facebooks, uh, I mean, Meta, and all that kind of fun stuff. All right. Hope it helps. Uh, you guys have a good one. And I'll see you at the next update. Hey, John here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below and let us know what topic you wanna to see us cover next. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos. And if you wanna watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com and learn how to sign up. Good trading, and we'll see you next time.